Now we're in lab five. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag up my door, and put it at the top somewhere, say right here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the statue egg, S-T-A-T-U-E egg. Not the collection egg, the statue egg. There's a big difference. Don't be dragging up here the collection stuff. We're going to be dragging up the statue egg. Just put it somewhere. Then put someplace that's harder to get to. Go to the statue wings. And then put um, the statue base someplace. Now I'm going to go in the vent editor and destroy the pieces, the statue pieces, as the scientist uh, runs into them. We'll do the rest of it later, but we're going to do this piece now. View, uh, event editor. And now we're going to right click new condition and we're going to go right click scientists collision with another object and we're going to choose the statue egg. So I click OK. So what do you want to happen when he collides with the statue egg? We want to destroy it. Later we're going to have it add piece of the collection but not now. I'm going to right click here and click destroy. Next we'll say that we're going to have the same thing happen with the scientist colliding with the next piece. Right click scientist collision with another object. He's going to collide this time with the wings. I click OK. So under the wings I want them to be destroyed. Now I'm going to right click collision between the scientist and another object. This time you're going to slide into that um, object base. Now we're going to destroy the base. Now I'm going to add the collection item. So I'm going to go back to the um, event. Ed I'm go back to the frame editor. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer. So I'll click click up here. I click on my third layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the X and Y coefficient to zero because this layer is not going to move. I'm going to um, make sure this is selected now. You have to lock that second layer and I'm going to drag up the collection wings, call wings. Make sure it's the right thing. I'm going to put all the way up the upper left hand corner here. On top of that, I'm going to put the collection base. On top of that, I'm going to put the collection egg. If you can't see what you're doing, you can zoom in on this. Okay, now I'm going to run this. I'll show you how this acts. So now, no matter where he goes, you see that follows him. His life's going to follow him too. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make these invisible until he collects the items and they're going to show up as he collects them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these. There we go. Make sure all three are selected. Take out, make sure this blue thing is selected, display options. Take out visible at start and click enter. So now if you run the game, you won't see this at all. See, they're all gone. So until he collects something, and you have to, we have to program it now to be visible. Now we're going to go to the event editor and put this all together. So I'm going to view event editor. I'm going to create a new condition now. I'm going to go. Well, first I'm going to go in the egg row here, and I'm going to scroll over. Now this egg is destroyed, so now this egg is visible. Right click, um, visibility, make object reappear. So the wings, I collect the, click the collection wings now, 
and I go visibility and make object reappear. So now I go under the statue row here. Statue, there's a, that one's destroyed, and this one, we're going to make this one visible. Visibility, make object reappear. Now next one I'm going to do is I'm going to create visibility conditions here. I'm going to click this new condition, and then I'm going to right click collection wings and make sure it's a collection wings here. And I click here, visibility, is collection wings visible? Now I'm going to right click this and I'm going to click insert. Now I'm going to go for collection base. Right click collection base. Visibility is collection base visible. Now I'm going to right click the collection base visible. We go insert egg. Then I'm going to go visible visibility is collection egg visible. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make see is a scientist at the door now is he clicking on the door so I right click this I gotta click insert I gotta right click the scientist collision with another object I click the door and I gotta click OK so if all these conditions are true what do you want to happen we want them to go to the next level so that would be under the storyboard editor. We right click that and we go next frame. We haven't built it yet, but we're going to check to make sure it does this. So we're going to click run application. So let's go collect some stuff here. Actually, when you're testing this, you can just put these on the bottom so you can reach them easily just so you can test your conditions here. Hey, that worked. He's got the wings. Now he's got the egg. Here we go. So he's out the door. <laughs> okay, now we're in lab six. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the enemies. So I'm going to go to level one. And I'm going to bring up the warp. I'm going to select a place where I want to put it. Well, I don't know. This looks just as good right here. So I'm going to come back down to the um, event editor. And I'm going to make a new condition. Right click the scientist. A collision with what? Another object. He's going to collide with the warp. We click OK. So, we, so we're going to go with the scientist right here. What we're going to do is relocate him. <laughs> so we're going to go um, position, select position. And so we're going to go, we're going to find his position here. We're going to, we're just going to click that beginning position and click OK. And so now we're going to destroy the warp because we want that to go away once he's touched it. So we right click this warp and click destroy. So now we can test it to see if it works. There you go. You see it sent him back to the beginning. Now you want to make sure that you had this now if this step didn't work for you, make sure that you put it on layer 2. Let me show you. See this frame layer is selected, so if this isn't working, perhaps you have it on layer 3. So then I just click this and delete it. And see where that says 2-36? It says 3. Just right click and delete it, and then just do it again. But make sure that it's on layer 2. Now we're going to add the alligator once again. Make sure you're on layer two. I come down to the bottom of the frame. I'm just going to slick that alligator in here. I'm going to put him right along the bottom here. So let's see how this animation works. 
First the animation appears and it disappears. So that's what how you want it to happen. Now of course I gotta add the bird. So I gonna come up top here. And let me put the bird in. So now we're going to click the bird and we're going to do the running man here. We're going to give him a movement. The movement we're going to pick is a path movement. And we're going to edit this movement. We're going to draw the, the how we want this bird to fly. So I click here on the tape movement. So I'm just going to go and um, I'm just going to go from um, side to side then we'll click loop the movement and reverse at the end so now we need to contain the um, contain the bird so we're going to go into the edit we're going to go over to the event ed editor Okay, right click new condition, click the bird, right click the bird, position, test position of the bird. Let's see if he's going to go up, trying to go out any of the edges here. Click OK. So what do we want to happen? We want him to reverse. So we're going to click the bird. And we're going to go movement. And we're going to select reverse. Now we're going to look at this movement. So I'm going to go run application. We need to get him up high so we see this bird moving. There you go. If you don't like the, your bird's flight, you can always change that by going back into clicking on the bird again, going into path, clicking edit, then drawing a you know, a square around your what you want to change, but then just click tape mouse and then just change it. So I close this out. What ready for lab seven? So now we're going to add a pineapple. So I'm going to pull a pineapple up here, put it in the gray area here. Now I'm going to. Um, create a, a timer condition. So I'm going to go back into the event editor. And I'm going to create new, another um, condition. So I'm going to right click the timer every one second. That's exactly right. So what are we going to do? We're going to create something. Come back down here. Right click the create a new object. So I create it. So when I create a pineapple. I click OK. So I'm going to put this to zero, 00. Relative to the bird. I click OK. And at actual relative, and click OK. So the pineapples aren't moving yet. The bird's just leaving them every second. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to um, the frame editor. And we're going to click the bird. We're going to go to the runtime editor. And we're going to activate inactivate it too far. We're going to turn that off for the bird. We're also going to turn it off for the pineapple. I'm going to click the pineapple. Come to runtime editor. Come down to inactivate if too far. We're going to turn that off. <laughs> 